In this video, we're gonna be checking out the HP VH240A 23.8 inch monitor. Here's the box that the monitor comes in, and here are all the various items included in the box. So I first wanna go over all of those, then we'll set up the monitor, and then finally, we'll give it a try. We have the cable to plug the monitor into the wall. We have the adapter that connects that cable to the actual monitor itself. We have a double-sided 3.5 millimeter audio cable. We have an HDMI cable to connect the monitor to whatever HDMI device you wanna connect it to. We have the base of the monitor stand. We have the top part of the stand that connects directly to the monitor. And then finally, we have the actual monitor itself. Now they do have some directions here as well for the quick setup. And overall, setting this up is a pretty simple process. Now the maximum resolution for this monitor is 1920 by 1080, and this monitor does support 60 Hertz as the refresh rate. Now to get this set up, you're gonna start by connecting the bottom of the stand to the top of the stand. So flip that upside down. Then from there, you're going to set the bottom of the stand in like this and then screw it into place so it's nice and snug and secure. Now that we've done that, the base is constructed. Now one of the things that I do especially like about this monitor is that it is VESA mount compatible. In fact, this right here is a VESA mount. So the product is mainly designed to be paired up with this mount, but since VESA mounts are universal, you can always get another VESA mount to pair up with the monitor as well. So that does give you some extra options and flexibility. But now let's connect the monitor to the stand. So we're gonna take this, flip it upside down, be careful. Then take the stand, take this end and then connect it here. And just like that, the stand is now connected. So we can now flip this around, turn it around like this, and now the monitor is connected to the stand. Here's a view of it from the back. And that's definitely one of my favorite things about this monitor is the amount of flexibility that we do get with the stand that is included. So with this stand, we are able to easily adjust the height of the monitor. So if you want it really high up, you can have it like that. You can also lower the monitor just by pushing down and it stays just like that. You can move it back up again. And then the coolest feature is that you can actually rotate the monitor 90 degrees. And then you can also lower it down a little bit as well if you want to. So if you do want a monitor that's in portrait instead of landscape, you can easily do that here with this one. Now that we have the monitor in this position, this is a good time to take a look at the various ports. Now the monitor does feature internal speakers, but we have the 3.5 millimeter jack, we have the VGA port, we have one HDMI port, we have the power port, and then finally we do have a place here for a lock if you want. But now that we have the monitor set up, I'm gonna plug it in, and then I'm gonna connect it to my laptop. I now have the monitor paired up with my Windows laptop. And by the way, this monitor does work with both Mac and PC, whether you're using it in the landscape format or you're using it in vertical. I'm completely satisfied with the display quality of the monitor. In fact, this is actually the second one of these that I've gotten just because I like them so much. Now to take the monitor from this position to the vertical format, you're going to have to raise it all the way up. Then from there, you just rotate it. There we go. And then as I mentioned before, you can lower it as well. And then from here to switch things over to the portrait format from landscape, you are gonna have to go into your system settings on your computer to do this. So again, whether it's Mac or PC, you can do it with either one. So at least for Windows, you go into the display settings, you select the display that you want to rotate, then scroll down, and you're gonna see display orientation, and you're gonna pick portrait. And just like that, it has switched things over to portrait, keep changes. Now you can use this monitor in the vertical format. You can take windows and drag them over, expand them, and then get this nice portrait view. And the process of setting this up on Mac is very similar. You just have to go to the system display settings. Another cool thing about this monitor stand that comes with it that's pretty awesome is that you do have the ability to tilt the monitor. So you can't tilt it a complete 90 degrees, but you do get some tilt with it. So that's another nice way to customize this so you can get the best experience. Now there are some different buttons down on the bottom part of the monitor. 
One of the buttons is for the power of the monitor, so you can turn it on and off. But then also there's several others too. So you do get some different viewing modes. There's low blue light, there's night, there's reading mode, multimedia, photo, custom. You can also make some adjustments to your various inputs. So in this situation, you have two options, HDMI or VGA. And then you also have the ability to adjust the brightness on the monitor as well. There's also other options too, such as color control, input control, image control, audio control, power control, menu control. So there are some more advanced features to customize the monitor even further. But this is the HP VH240A 23.8 inch monitor.